What is the worm at the core of ChatGPT? They simply stole the data set. Scrap ChatGPT. Yes, make it illegal. What are you proposing, David? AI is the product of a large number of brains who have provided the data sets on which the AI has been trained. And I think these brains should be paid. You are watching the Chat God channel. As a leading forethinker on the subject of AI, what's your take on the ongoing chat GPT revolution? I think my take on chat GPT is obvious. I mean, I think everybody is thinking the same thing here, so I am not sure what to add. What do you mean by everybody is thinking the same thing? Evidently, I am not following the short term news outlets like Twitter or any of the traditional media, but still, I think everybody is talking about the same problem regarding Chat GPT. You know, the worm at the core. I'm not so sure, David. I have not recognized a shared pattern of concern across various news outlets and attention kings. Tell us, what is the worm at the core of? Chat GPT. Well, I think it is clear that we are dealing with the biggest heist in human history. Heist? Yes, heist, theft, robbery, stealing, raub, diebstahl. Are you referring to the fact that this large language model was trained on the content that's available online? This is only half of it, of course, but yes, we are talking about a private company which has appropriated the mental output of millions of people, restructured it and, and then automated it. Chat GPT is not an artificial intelligence. It is an automat, a machine running on the automated intelligence of the collective. And no one has been paid for the intelligence they provide to open AI. Well, I guess there have been some concerns about that in, in the German press, as usual, right? I mean, the like data privacy Nazis nowadays. But tell me, what, what is the other half of this biggest heist in human history? Well, first they collect collective intelligence without asking anybody for permission and without paying anybody for the raw materials which serve as inputs for the initial model. They simply stole the data set. But the next step was even more cruel and really demonic because by granting access to people for them to play with it, to engage with it, they essentially used people to train their model, to improve it, to optimize and really to perfect it without paying them a single dime for their work. Okay, so first OpenAI stole the data set which JetGPT was trained on and now people have been tricked into working for OpenAI for free in order to turn OpenAI into the most powerful AI company in the the world and perhaps the most powerful company in the world period. Is that it? Yes, but again, I think this is really the elephant in the room with OpenAI and ChatGPT and I am sure that even though I don't follow the news or the media for that matter, everybody is talking about just this and trying to resolve it. So I don't think we have to worry. You are watching the Chat God channel. To be honest with you, David, I don't think anybody is making a big deal out of this. Sam Altman, you know, the founder and CEO of OpenAI, he was recently on the Lex Friedman podcast and the subject of stealing the data set from people and then, you know, tricking people into some sort of free cognitive labor, you know, that didn't even come up during their conversation. <laughs> The problem is that Lex Friedman is not a critical thinker, but someone who addresses his entire audience as friends and says ridiculous things like, I love all of you. Spreading love is ridiculous, according to you. As a foreword to a conversation with the biggest thief in history, Sam Altman. Yes, I think it's very inappropriate. David, I hope that you realize that nobody in the world thinks that JetGPT is running on a massive illegal appropriation of intellectual property and free labor. But what people say online is not protected by any kind of copyright law, as far as I know. Even if JetGPT was trained on everybody's content online, well, that doesn't constitute a crime according to the law. Well, it should for the sake of humanity, but also for the sake of large language models, I think we should copyright all content online. For the sake of JetGPT? Yes, for everybody.
What are you proposing, David? I am proposing that people get paid for the data they provide on which chatbots are subsequently trained. This is by no means a novel idea, Walter, but something which the inventor of virtual reality, you know, Jaron Lanier, has been vocal about for decades, really. AI is automated intelligence. That's what it is. In other words, AI is the product of a large number of brains who have provided the data sets on which the AI has been trained. And I think these brains which provide the data should be paid for doing so. I, I, actually, I think this is self-evident. Okay, well, how are we going to trace back linguistic output making up the automated intelligence of JetGPT? We cannot, which is why I think we have to start afresh. You mean we have to scrap Chat GPT. Yes, make it illegal. Make Chat GPT illegal. You're watching the Chat God channel.